All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing a quick video blog. I always say quick, we might end up being 20 minutes, um, but we're gonna try to keep it quick because I got a workout to do and then I have to train. So it's kind of getting hot in here. Let's go take this off real quick. So today we're gonna talk about uh, rep ranges. Okay, rep, rep ranges. It's gonna be the dumbed down version. So we're gonna put title, dumbed down version of rep ranges and which ones to do, which ones not to do, which your goal is. Why not your goals? Okay, so I'm gonna make it simple. I drink some coffee, that's why I might be talking fast. So, rep range uh, and to goal. Okay, that's kind of your thing. This is the ugly marker here. So, I would throw it away, but it's not mine. So, rep range to goal. Right, point is, what is your goal? Gains, uh, mainly gains, mainly strength, strength and gains. Um, cardiovascular fitness and conditioning, um, endurance, whatnot. Uh, today, I actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make it specifically about overall fitness um, and gains. <laughs> so gains and overall fitness. We're not gonna go into endurance too much. Overall endurance, we'll go into a specific type of you know train that we're going through. So rep range and goal. Cool. These are all ugly. Okay. So let's say you're going for overall fitness and gains. There's a wide variety. So we'll go ahead and uh, give you all the reps. Rep range right here, goal right here. Okay, rep range we'll say zero to, and we are not following book knowledge as much. We are, we're not, okay? Because the reason why I'm putting this here is because you can gear and change a lot of different things, uh, rest time and whatnot. So we're not gonna change that. Zero to three, three to five, Really three to six, but five to nine, five to eight, like whatever. Eight to twelve, ten to fifteen, twelve to twenty, fifteen to twenty-five, and then twenty-five, thirty-five, and then thirty-five plus. Okay. So what does that mean? There's a crap ton of rep ranges, but again, here's one thing. It's really easy to manipulate these things. So I'm gonna give you the, the basic way that people put it out there and then kind of explain what the hell the point of it is. So first off, if you're trying to make the best results in the gym, in life, in general, you're gonna do, guess what? Maybe not zero, maybe not zero reps. Um, we'll go ahead and take that off you are most likely going to stick in this area here. This is a, um, a um, ego trip for most people. Ego lift. For most, for most, okay, if you're, yeah, unless you're a power lifter, I'm not gonna say you. Uh, ego slash power lift. Okay, if you're a power lifter, I'm not trying to hate on you, I actually love, uh, I used to love power lifting. Um, but the basic of what we're doing here today is going to explain what all these are for. So overall fitness, overall health, uh, gains in general, usually stick in here. One to three does help with gains. One to three does help with overall fitness. One to three does help with a lot of things, but it's not as, as appropriate for most people, 90% 90, 90 of people, especially the one to two rep range. It's really hard to get something out of that besides really pushing your um, mechanical, if you want to say mechanical failure. Um, to its limit, but you can do that three to five, whatnot. So the way it goes here is strength down to endurance, and then somewhere in the middle is gains, right? It's like a bell curve here. So it go, uh, so it goes like this, something like that. That's kind of where the gains are at. It's everywhere but it's not as everywhere as it is in here, okay? This is the, the sweet spot for gains is usually about right here, it's about right here, okay? Five to nine to 12 to 20. Really it's 12 to 15 again, but I think 12 to 20 is very imperative and very important. So if you were to think of the most important rep ranges to work in, it's here. But if you don't have these out here, you're not gonna get the best bet. Okay, five to nine is kind of debatable on that, but I would recommend that for gains for sure. Um, but again, Besides all the scientific mumbo jumbo that we can get into, I just want to tell you straight up 
that if your goal is overall fitness, you should be working every rep range. If your goal is overall gains, you should be working from five to nine, eight to 12, 10 to 15, 12 to 20 on the gains. And how do you do that? How do you program that is a question, right? Well, let's say you do a regular workout. Um, we'll change the goals over actually over here, right? Goals gains, goals strength, or goals endurance. You need to change um, your rest time, okay? Uh, usually, I'm gonna go ahead and write the rough rest times that we'll recommend here. These are not verbatim, and you can change the rest times to make these harder and get stronger at them. So, and that's different ways you can change your workout. But, let's say regular rest times for five to nine reps is two minutes. Eight to 12 is one to 1 1.5 minutes. 10 to 15 is 45 seconds to one minute. This is what I recommend when I've worked out. That's 12 to 20, 30 seconds to one minute. And really you can go into that 25 rep range and even more. And, and really this is where you kind of gear towards this area is 30 to 45 seconds. Um, and this is, we're just talking about the gains area, okay? This would be more like three to five minutes. Usually, I've done it where you only do one minute break and it's crazy. Um, and over here, two to five really, but three to five is what you kind of re get recommended usually. 15 to 25, 12 to 25. Um, again, this is like 30 to 45 across the board. Even less so, you could say 20 or less. Um, 20 to 45 or less, you know? You could say, you could honestly say zero to 45. Come on, not zero, but like 10 to 45 seconds or less or something, you know? It's just, it's just real crazy. So notice that's anywhere from 30 seconds to two minutes is usually what your rest time is, even less sometimes, depending on what kind of training program you're doing. So how do you program this in and what should you do? Well, you should basically push yourself to failure every workout. Um, at least in my opinion, it's been very well for me and very well for a lot of my clients. You push your limit each set, uh, wherever the rep range is. You work with whatever uh, rest time you have and you build upon that. You either lower the rest time, add reps, add weight, etc. But let's say that you're not geared and you don't know about that stuff. Let's say you have a regular workout, chest and try, back, and by rest, legs, shoulders, tr uh, upper back, and then arms and rest. So that's a seven day split. So you're doing this. How do you make this uh, good, good to gear up? How do you get better at these things? So let's start off with what's important contractions feeling the burn feeling the muscle doing your form right and stuff um, I usually like to work backwards but we don't have to do that we're, but I'm gonna explain to you what I mean real quick so 12 to 20 let's say we're only working in this in this range now 12 to 20 5 to 9 in this block here okay say week one that's an ugly W week one you're actually gonna be working here one 12 to 20 on your reps 30 to 30 seconds to one minute um, let's say uh, five exercises uh, five six exercises let's say because we're doing uh, double body parts let's say six exercises times four sets a piece okay your workouts on this end of the spectrum might be longer than these, depending on how you work out. So it really depends. Six exercises, four sets, etc. Times four sets. Cool. Um, we are missing one variable as the power variable, the condition variable. It's really you're going to be conditioning the muscles here a little bit, but it's not the way that we're talking about with power and explosiveness, like burpees and stuff like that, with push-ups and box jumps and all that. It's a little different, and we can't really add that in here. We can, but that's more like an X factor workout and you need those no matter what to build upon your gains here. Otherwise, you're gonna be missing out on long-term uh, benefits of good conditioning. You'd be able to push yourself harder. But doing this here will actually help you push yourself harder here. So it kind of plays, it, plays in its own way, but I do recommend you do some kind of conditioning. Sprints and whatnot are really good. So six times six exercises times four sets. You start with 12 to 20 reps. That's gonna give you a lot of burn. 10 to 15 will still give you a burn. 
but then you start working hypertrophy and, and, and muscle tearing in here and the mechanical tension up into that three to five rep range. But week one, you'll be doing, um, what's it called? And all weeks, this, that we'll actually do this here. All weeks, okay? Let's go ahead and delete that. Okay, all weeks, I'd rather grab six exercises times four sets. Uh, each, so that ends up being 24 sets. And I do not recommend that all the time for most people. I'm saying in this instance, I do, because you could do four exercises for chest, two for tri, four exercises back, two for bi, uh, six exercises for legs, it makes sense, three, three, quads, hams, glutes, or two to two, whatever you want to do, shoulders and upper back, four for shoulders, two for upper back, arms, uh, three, three, bicep, tricep, rest, three sets of bed, three sets of shower, and just play. Um, cool. So six sets. I mean four ex four sets, six exercises, twenty four sets total in a workout. This would be week one. This would be week two. This would be week three. And this would be week four. And if you want to go even deeper into it, guys, specifically, I would recommend going into this mode. Um, girls, kind of five to nine is kind of already pushing that, but guys, I would recommend guys, maybe. Week five, star, star, because I would recommend the rest time, lower rest time to two minutes, two minutes, okay? That's, uh, that's what I'd recommend there, okay, for that. I know it sounds, oh shit, well why am I doing that? Well because, you know, we're trying to make gains here, we're trying to maximize the time of attention, and we're trying to maximize the time that you're working out, and then you don't want to be in the gym for 10 days. Because <laughs> if you add that all together, two minutes per rest, 24 sets, that's 40, 24, yeah, that could be 48 minutes of rest, man. I almost don't even want to write that. I don't even think that's good. You know what I'm saying? Lower rest time. Lower rest time to two minutes, and is that little rest of two minutes and shit I'm all I'm all best change this to 1.5 minutes man 1.5 minutes hell yeah okay so whatever 1.5 to 2 okay okay we'll rest time to two minutes um 24 sets sounds all right um to two minutes and sets to uh, three. Um, yes, it's three. Four exercises to four. Okay, so you'll either be doing 16 sets of heavy lifting, three to five reps, or you're doing three uh, three sets of 16 of six exercises would be 18 sets. You do more sets if you do the three, but it's really up to you. Okay. That's very important. That's if you want to push that barrier with the strength. Uh, it's a lot different, okay? But that's basically it. Um, you progress each week. Week one, week two, week three, week four, week five. And then you'll be good to go. And I think you're on camera. Okay, and then uh, basically that's how you can progress through your workout uh, from basically the burn, uh, working on your endurance for muscular growth, and then week two would be more of a muscular growth uh, hypertrophy combo. And again, these are important for each other to build off of each other. So you build off of endurance here because you can push yourself farther in your rep ranges when you go to the heavier weights. Then you work in between that intermittent uh, fine line and the in-between. Then you work the actual eight to 12 that everybody recommends, but you already have gained so much uh, endurance, quote unquote endurance, um, which isn't real endurance, but it's light endurance um, to maximize the growth of hypertrophy. And your form will be really good by then if you focus on that. Five to nine reps is going to work on your strength and your building. And then if you really want to push that three to five rep maxes on there um, with good form, obviously, good control and whatnot, and you should be good. So you do that for four weeks, up to five weeks with the same exercises, six exercises, four sets per exercise, unless you're doing that fifth week where you get, you have to lower your rest in two minutes, which is not recommended over here for most people, but I recommend it because it's going to take too long. And you do uh, sets of three or uh, or exercises to four. So that's how you do that. A five week split of this here, and you'll be good to go. Gus out. Thank you very much. Fifteen minutes, not too long.
Sorry about the cat.